Kanye West admits to being a three-time addict. Hat trick. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so, yeah. So, apparently, Kanye West has done an interview, and in that interview, he is beginning to blame all of the zany things that he's been doing over the past, I don't know, his life? On alcohol. Okay, so, first of all, before we even get all the way into what this interview comprised of um first of all shout out to complex i've seen the article on complex actually um i mean i've seen it somewhere else like it being spoken about but the article that i actually read was from complex so shout out to complex and joshua espinoza for writing the article but um let's get into this real quick well before we get into this i want to say something um does any kanye west has a history of when he's trying to reinvent himself blaming his pla his past transgressions on abuses like remember when he was a porn addict yeah the, for everybody that don't know there was a period of time where kanye west came out and said yo look i'm addicted to porn and apparently there was a period of time when <laughs> when kanye west came out and also said he was addicted to opioids now there's two things that i want to say one is Porn addiction is ex is 100% true. It's a real thing. If you ever see somebody, like you're out in public and you see somebody who can't stop looking like down at other people's genitals, they might not want you and they might not be gay. They just might be watching too much porn. And so <laughs> that's just where they used to looking at people at, in the crotch area. So that might be what's going on. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Like I'm laughing like this is funny, but it's really not funny Remember a while back when you used to see a lot of rappers and industry people always wearing shades No matter what time or day it was I think that had something to do with it I think it had something to do with they was at that time battling a porn addiction for one thing reason or another And they got tired of being out in public and accidentally glancing down at other people's genitals People was probably like, oh man, I might have a chance I don't know what people was thinking Anyway, um so Kanye West has this, uh, you know, whenever he's trying to reinvent himself, one of the things Kanye West does is blame it on some type of addiction, right? Rem everybody remember when he ran on stage and he was like, excuse me, Taylor Swift. And then he was like, Beyonce had the best album of the year. Or oh, I don't know what he said Beyonce had. I think it's the best album. And then he was like, uh, I'm out. And he like mic dropped it or something. I'm not sure what he did after that. <laughs> I'm really fuzzy on a lot of these a lot of these details, but the point is you know what I'm talking about Well, he's blaming that on his alcohol addiction. He's saying that he was drinking heavily on the um On the uh, red carpet and you know, I'm, I, I, I'm guessing he's also alluding to the fact that he was maybe drinking before he got to the event I don't know anyway so he's blaming that on uh, his his alcohol addiction and um, he has been fairly candid about his porn and his opioid addiction. Let's let's not be um, coy. I was making jokes, but yes, he spoke on that before. He he said he he actually was quoted as saying, "There was some vodka in the refrigerator at my office, and sometimes I would go ahead and take a drink from it in the middle of the day. And I was walking around that kitchenette area, and I stopped myself and I said, "Devil, you ain't finna beat me today.'" And then he says, "And." And it's something that we take on day by day. Every day, I don't pick up a drink. I beat the devil. Um, yeah, so he he obviously at this point. See, um, all right, so look at it like this, right? So we all know Kanye West does the uh the Sunday service thing. And shout out to him for doing that. Not for nothing. I mean, at the end of the day, 
I'm not a person to be like, you gotta worship this God or that God. I'm more of a person like, can we stop doing evil? So if, if his Sunday service could convince some people to stop doing evil, I don't know what to say about that. I can't be 100% against it, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, the most high that I represent or that that I respect or that I love is like, nah, you gotta hate them all, all them other, all them fake gods. I get it. But at the end of the day, do we really know or do we really have an understanding of what Kanye West is trying to tell people to worship? Because to be perfectly honest with you, as far as I can tell, the only thing that I can see Kanye West telling somebody to worship is himself. But that's not a knock on Kanye West. Shout out to you. And I don't know if you want to call that confidence or not. It doesn't sound like confidence to me. It sounds like delusion. But, you know, who am I? You know, who am I? I don't, I don't know the man. He might just be uh, uberly confident to the point where it just seems like delusion. Anyway, um, so he's coming out about having his drinking problem. Uh, shout out to Kanye West for for sharing his pain with the world. I guess uh, I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, he also says though that he was uh, brought back to clarity. Uh, that that's where he found the truth. He says, "I see. I've been in the mental hospital and back. Uh, he was working for the devil at some point. Hint, hint. Like when he said he was working for the devil." Like, what is he really trying to say? Like, hint, hint. You understand what I'm saying? Like, remember him and I don't, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, You draw your own conclusions. If you think he means anything shifty by that, leave it down in the comment section. Uh, they didn't think I was going to get out. Who's they? Who is the they that didn't think he was going to get out? Just so you could be understand this. This is a quote I'm reading. The quote grow, goes, I'm going to read the whole quote first. He brought me back to clarity. Wait, hold on. Let me read the um the part before that so we can give even better um <laughs> comprehension of what he's trying to say. He says there's all they always say the devil try to play a trick on somebody. But it's like God's getting the last laugh, he said. I started with this song. The song he's talking about is Jesus Walks. And this whole time the devil thought the devil thought he had me. This is a Trojan horse if I ever seen one. I'm not sure what he means by that. Anyway, well, I guess he's trying to say he got into the devil's gates by pretending to be or put, put, acting like he was a part of the devil's stuff just to really be on God's side. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, it goes on to say he brought back my clarity. That's where I find the truth. See, I've been I've been the mental hospital and back working for the devil. They didn't think I was going to get out. They had already grabbed the shovels. They said there's something wrong with his head. So his career is dead. But Jesus saves. No matter how long you've been away, no matter how long you've been in the dark, the light is right there, ready to save, ready to give you confidence. So um, I'm not 100% sure who's alluding to when he's talking about all of this devil and Satan stuff. Um, but it absolutely seems like he's not just saying this in a general term he might be talking might, there might be specifics behind this is my point so uh leave it down in the comment section if you think he's trying to throw shots i don't know i think he's trying to throw shots i'm not even i'm not saying i agree with the shots that i think he's trying to throw i'm just saying i believe that the shots are there if that makes any sense leave it down in the comment section and tell me what you believe what you think about the situation um also just real quick um, we have uh, a situation where Kanye West is coming out and he's saying now that, you know, first it was porn, second it was opioids, and then it was uh, now alcohol addiction. I want to know what he's going to say he's addicted to next if he tries to reinvent himself again. <laughs> he's going to be like, hey, you know those, those those chalky candies that used to be popular back in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the 80s? They was like tarts. I'm addicted. I mean, I don't know what he's going to say next. I hope whatever happens works out for him. I don't actually have any beef with Kanye. I think he puts out good music in, gen in the general sense of the term. I think he puts out really, really good music. Um, but who knows? Anyway, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. 
All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.